few of these guys and a few of these. One of them a little bit longer here. And uh, one of these, nah, maybe two. Some screws, yeah. Uh, a few of these and some cable, uh, maybe some of the skinnier stuff. And four by fours, a couple of those. I'm gonna go with the eight foot ones, yeah. Planters, outdoor lights, zip ties, some block, and maybe some with the bronzy here, you know, in case you're working on that beach bod. You know, it's summer. What's up everybody? If you look around me, you can see I'm sitting on a freshly poured concrete patio that we had done the other day. We like it, super excited about it, but what we're gonna talk about today is hanging up fairy lights, I think is what people call them. You know, the lights that you see on people's back porches, back patios, especially in the summertime, which is uh, you know what we're coming up on now. I got a bunch of things together to string up these patio lights myself, and um, I think it turned out pretty well. A few speed bumps, I recorded the whole process and we're gonna kind of flash back to that here in just a minute. Oh, and I recorded the whole thing on my iPhone so the wind, you know, every now and then gets a little shh, so you know what, be forgiving of that. Still got some good stuff, turned out pretty well I think, so uh, stay tuned. All right, sorry for all the clutter here, but I have this vision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to anchor right above the door here and then V out and go right here to a planter and one of those posts and then come over this way to a planter and a post and then we'll kind of go straight across here and we'll make like a triangle across the whole patio here. Okay, so I'm gonna reuse these four by four posts that I already owned. They don't look as good, but I'm gonna stain them. But you know, if you saw those prices at the store, they's expensive. And then we're going to attach them into these wooden barrel planters. I have two of those for the two corners there. I got those at Lowe's, those were like 30 bucks each. And then to attach those posts in there, I got like these L brackets, something like this. That'll kind of hold them in place to keep them from leaning and stuff as uh, we put up the lights and everything like that. We'll also fill this with rocks and some dirt and stuff. Then I got these little, I don't know what these are called, these little eyelet screw things. Anyways, these are gonna go in there. And then I got these guys, that's gonna attach into here. All screws to, you know, to do all that stuff with. And then these little uh, turnbuckles to tighten up the wire. I'm gonna use wire to attach the lights to. Extension cord to power it all. And um, over here, that wire I was talking about, here is that wire. Again, that's gonna be kind of my guide first, and then I will zip tie, hence the zip ties, zip tie the lights to the wire to make it more sturdy. And then here are the lights. I got these off of Amazon and things like that. Some of this stuff is Amazon. This is from Amazon. This stuff is, and everything else is from Menards, Lowe's. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking those old wooden posts and um, I sanded them down really quick uh, uh, with a sander. And then I had this old leftover stain that is a sealer and a stain all in one. And so I'm just brushing this on really quick to make them look just a little bit better because they've been outside for a while and they, are not the prettiest. But anyways, this is what it's looking like up top. And on the side here is what I haven't done yet. And um, you know, I'm gonna make it better. It's a, it's a little rough, it's a little fast, but you know what, it's it's gonna do the trick. We got our posts uh, stained and dry and I got my assistant here holding it. And if you look down in here, it's just kind of, we're just holding it in here right now. But my plan is to take these little L brackets here and we'll screw those in just to hold the post in place while we fill it up with rocks and dirt and stuff. <laughs> All right, future Sean, interjecting here real quick. Those L brackets were not enough to support. They were still really wobbly. I put the L brackets in with the post and put rock and stuff in it, and I thought they were still too wobbly. So um, I need more support. So we're gonna go with uh, concrete too. So at, um, add some uh, instant post set concrete mix uh, to our list of ingredients there. Okay. All right, so yes, using the concrete was definitely a better idea than the rocks that I was originally planning on putting in there. And yeah, when you pull on the post already, even with the concrete wet, it is a lot more sturdy. And since we're gonna be anchoring in right up here, we definitely wanna make sure we have a good sturdy foundation for when that wire's pulling on it. And uh, I think the concrete did the trick. We still have about four or five inches at the top here for some dirt and flowers, all that pretty stuff. And uh, yeah. You know what's funny, when I had this project, in my mind, I thought, ah, oh, it'll take a couple hours, maybe a little bit longer, because I'm gonna try to film it and everything too at the same time. Thought I'd be done in a couple hours. Well, when I first started, it was probably 
uh, maybe 8, 8.30 a.m. And it is now like 3.30 and I just finally got the post situation figured out. I'll kind of show you where we're sitting and now we're just kind of waiting for the setup. We got the fast dry stuff, so it's supposed to be good in like, in like 10 minutes. But anyways, we're in here, it's filled up with concrete, but the posts are super, super solid in there now. So I'm glad we did that. We did compensate for the mess because we didn't want to have to move them afterwards. So we have trash bags underneath here and we'll kind of have to pull them out in a little bit. But we do, you know, we want to keep the patio clean and all that good stuff. So now we're just waiting for that to set up and then we'll start with the actual wire and lights and stuff, the exciting stuff. So we're getting there. It might not be till this evening when we're done, but we're getting there. I'm told that above every door, um, just because it's code, you have to have like a uh, stud is right up here. So I should be able to safely drill right into there and uh, anchor into the stud, I'm hoping. And then I'll get some little bit of seal to put around it. So, you know, for rain and all that good stuff. So, I don't know. All right, I got it right there. I hit a stud. And I think we're uh, we're good to go now for the wire. So again, I'm gonna have a wire thread through here. Well, actually we're gonna start right here. And then we're gonna thread the wire right over here to this guy. And then we'll run them over to this guy. And then back here to that guy. Okay, so now that we got the main point, now I'm gonna drill a little hole and then screw these guys in. Probably about, you know, inch or so down from the top. I'm gonna do it to this one and then do it to the one behind us yeah all right so now we got some cable here like i said I'm, we're gonna put this up first to kind of create our track for the lights um i got this stuff off of amazon and it's got this these little things and this to make uh nice little hoops to hook onto those uh clips that we put up on the poles so it creates something like this if you see i put these little guys right here and then i'm gonna take this little hoop hook it in there so I've got the wire started right here it's just loosely running I've got it connected up there all right so this is the other end of the wire so the very end I've got another one of those loop things put in on the wire hooked into this little guy and then with the turnbuckle completely unscrewed so when I hook it up here I can pull it nice and tight and then screw this in to tighten it really well and then here it is started right here Thread it all the way over here above the door and then going right over here to this post and then back to where we started right here with the turnbuckle turned tight and that'll create a nice little support system for our lights to hang on. Okay, so now that we got the lines up, uh, we're gonna zip tie the lights up. So we're gonna run them through like these holes that are up there and then zip tie it on. That way we have the freedom to slide it and kind of adjust where it's sitting down on the wire easier than if we had ran the wire through here. I think. So uh, we're gonna do that. Close up. Trying to zip tie with one hand is not super easy. There we go. Something like that. All right, so they are all hung up now and I snipped the top off of the zip ties and I'm definitely glad I zip tied them. That allowed me to slide them around on the wire to make them nice and even and just made those adjustments a lot easier. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll get another shot here when it gets dark. And before I forget, this is how we powered it. I just ran the extension cord up the post here and plugged it in right where the lights start, right here. You hear those geese? Dang. And then to help keep the cable nice and neat, we have these little cable organizers screwed in every couple feet or so right here just to keep it nice and neat. Right down here, you can see our flowers that we have planted just to make it look even nicer. I cut a little notch right there in the barrel just to make that cable fit even neater. Another one of those cable ties. Then it's just ran alongside here. We'll eventually hide this better once we landscape around the patio, but for now this works. And then we'll plug it in right over there. We might eventually get a switch, but for now it'll work. Just plug it in right there. And there's my dog going inside. Well, that's it. I think it turned out pretty good. Hopefully this video helped you in case you're interested in hanging up some patio lights yourself. They turned out pretty good. Looks pretty fun, right? Um, other than that, I think that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and um, 
I'll see you soon.